the crap they know 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 this video was recorded in the span of two days hello to all of my beautiful wonderful crafty creators how y'all doing i'm felicia with the crafty nook um i wanted to do a little vote so that i could um at least touch base with y'all and let y'all know what's going on day to day and uh <sighs> this is a lot i'm just so tired all the time i wish that you know, I could be out outside in my shop, you know, videoing and all of that kind of stuff, but I'm not able to right now. Um, I've been in bed all last week and this week is starting off up and down, up and down. So um, to let you all know why I'm so tired I'm so fatigued, like I don't, I just don't have the energy. And uh, it's because I have spinal stenosis, okay? I have cerv cervical stenosis and lumbar stenosis. But um, my doctor wants to work on the cervical portion first because that is the worst, okay? Um, I'll have several um disc taken care of and you know they'll use the titanium plate and all of that i'll get into that more tomorrow with you guys but i just wanted to let y'all know i'm still here i'm praying for everybody i hope everybody is doing okay i miss y'all so much i love y'all so much um yeah that's that's basically it uh I wish I could tell you more, but I've done a, a lot of research and with that research, I will incorporate it, you know, daily as I get into the videos, um, letting y'all know what's going on. Okay. Um, let's see, was there anything else I wanted to tell y'all? Um, I thank you all that are there still like right here with me just just right here with me i appreciate that more than you could ever imagine and um that's that just means a lot right there on its own um the channel is still growing okay and when we come back well when i come back i'm going i'm, I'm going to like come back with a big bang okay what, what I want to do is have new equipment, um, my computer, well, my laptop that I use. I want to have another laptop. I want to make sure that I just have everything, you know, basically going good for us, okay? So, anyway, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. I love y'all. Um, and y'all be good. Say something nice to someone, as always. And I'll see you later. Bye. No, I said three. I went like this. You thought I went like this. I was like this. <laughs> I was like, West Side Girl. <laughs> Okay, y'all, on this next part, they're just cutting up a little bit, but hold on. Um, there, There's a few other parts in here, and the doctor will be coming in. All right, you're having neck surgery? Is that correct? Yes. Okay, I got you. Up. So, Miss Sheila's going to come in. She's going to do the neck surgery. Okay. Okay. And then she's going to go over some stuff. And then once she's finished going over everything, she'll have Dr. Bell come in. Okay. 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 And then she's going to go over some stuff. And then once she's finished going over everything, she'll have Dr. Edwards following shortly after to go over surgery and answer any questions you have. Okay. okay? All right, thank you. We got some surgery to do, girl. Yes, sir. You ready? Yes, sir. You are? Good. That's the right attitude. Mm -hmm. Even after you read the scary stuff here, huh? Right. <laughs> I'm going to go through all this.
that with you, sweetheart. Okay. What day, what, are we doing your surgery Monday or is it Wednesday? I can't. When, on the 16th, Wednesday. That's Wednesday, Wednesday. isn't it? Yes, Listen, Sheila can kind of look at the schedule and give you a little bit of an idea about what time she thinks it's going to go down. Okay. But I, I tell you, since the pandemic, they run the operating room a little differently. Right. They may call you on Tuesday and tell you something different than we've told you. Do whatever okay. they say. Okay. Because I've got to do neurologic monitoring. You're the only uh, case that I have to do neurologic monitoring on next week um, on Wednesday. That's when, after you go to sleep, you hook up all these little wire electrodes that lets me know that I'm doing a good job of taking okay. that pressure off the nerves. That's a limited resource. The, there's only one person in the hospital that does that type of testing for me. Um, so we sometimes have to work around their schedule. But right. um, so the point is, don't be, don't get worked up if they move it around. It's for, okay. It'll be for a reason. Okay. Um, who's going to be with you? My husband. Let, let him know. Just tell him two hours for the you know, okay. plus or minus. But there's a lot of getting ready time with doing this monitoring and mm -hmm. getting you set up with the anesthesia and getting you positioned. He won't know that all that's going right. on. He'll think the whole time you're gone, you're getting surgery. Well, mm -hmm. that's not the case, but the surgery time is usually about two hours. Okay. Um, as far as the incision, it's gonna be small. It'll only be an inch long. Right. Put it up, I think he can probably put it in a teeny little bit of a crease you have there. Okay. But, there won't be any stitches or staples or anything. We'll put a couple of stereo strips over it. Okay. Um, and you'll have a waterproof dressing that you can get in the shower with. Okay. Do you have your collar yet? Did it, did no, um, she told me that she was gonna give me the information yeah, to go ahead yeah. and pick it up so yeah, I have Yeah, it. get it today and that yeah. way you'll have it. Um, we'll use a more firm collar. It'll give you a little bit more support. Patients actually like it. it okay. um, you're not going it, to, it'll, it'll um, restrict your mobility, of course, and that's the game plan. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to take it off to bathe and to eat. Okay. If you're laying back watching the tube, not moving around too much, you can take it off and get some air to your neck, too. Okay, but, uh, great. It'll, it'll be comfortable for you. And, okay. and the, the goal of the operation is to get that pressure off the nerves and to provide a good surface for a bone to knit across that area. Okay. Well, that's what fusion means mm -hmm. when we're basically cleaning the disc out and getting that pressure off your spinal cord. Then in the old days, we used to take bone from your hip crest. Now we don't do that yeah, anymore. Yeah, I, I read that. I said, <laughs> that was 100 years ago. Yeah. But um, we've been in the last few years using titanium spacers. Mm -hmm. Titanium is nice because in addition to it being strong, your body doesn't reject it or react right. against it. Okay. The, the, the titanium spacer that we put in there where the disc is is basically it look, if you were to look at it in real life, it would look like a mesh, and bone graft grows through that right. into that area. Okay. So that's ultimately the healing is bone knitting across there. Mm -hmm. the, the hardware that we put in there, a little spacer and a little titanium plate, once the bone knits, that stuff just sits there and doesn't do anything, but that bridges the gap until the bone knits. Okay. Just like if you break your ankle and they now, put a plate and screws on it. How many that you have to do, just one or? It'll be just one plate. In up the spine here and that'll one hold. plate but how many discs there'll be three that we did let me show you on your MRI scan we'll go through that right now got one more thing I gotta do to get set up for that I'm gonna get them to do this last note okay so and print that out that way we'll have it for you okay I can find it Some of the things we don't care for as it relates to the um, medical records, the electronic stuff, it just mm -hmm. gets so. Every oh, time right. you have a diagnosis, it just kind of clouds out a lot right. of stuff. It makes it look like you're sicker than you are, let's put it right. that way. Your husband doesn't have to wait in that waiting area. They'll take his number, mm -hmm. his contact information when they check you guys in. It'll be on the front of the chart, so I can call him on his phone. I'm, I won't be going down there. They don't want us to go down there with until this pandemic's 
stuff. They leave us alone about that. So it'll be a phone call that he'll get. Okay. Um, so but it is perfectly fine for him to be anywhere to, to receive that, but it'll be a phone call. Okay. Um, and the thing that, um, again, it's there's no doubt that the worst of the three areas is this between five and six in terms of the pressure on your spinal cord. Right. But it's moderately severe here and here as well. And in addition to that is your neck is kind of kinked over. Okay. It should be going this way as you can see on that diagram up there. Right. Your neck kind of goes there. So it puts more tension back there. Mm -hmm. uh, the nice thing about this procedure is when we put these spacers in, they're a little bit thicker in the front than they are in the back. It kind of helps us restore that general curve okay. of your neck. But awesome. again, the main goal is getting that pressure off the, the spinal cord. Um, okay. So there are three discs that we'll be working on. It'll be the disc between three and four, between four and five, and between five and six. So everything down here and that one right there look great. Okay. And patients always worry or wonder sometimes if they're going to have trouble down the road. You won't have any more trouble at this area. Once, once okay. this area is healed up, you can forget about it. Okay. Awesome. And we don't put any restrictions on patients after we've done the operation. I mean, once it's healed up, that is. Right. Um, in other words, you won't be able to screw it up. Uh, you can do anything you want to do after that. Okay. And then you're out of danger. Neurologically, the nerves have the environment that they were supposed to have in mm -hmm. the beginning. Uh, we've, we've given the room back to them that they're supposed to have. Um, and we have patients sometimes that don't seem to have much pain from this condition. They may have started with it, but then the pain kind of goes away, and then they say, well, doc, I don't want to have surgery. I ain't hurting. Why would I have surgery? Mm -hmm. And it's to preserve your neurologic function because right. when this condition gets, when those nerves get so narrow in there, they will get worse as time goes on. And of course, if you have an injury, they're going to get worse real quick. Right. But so, you know, we don't know if you're on that kind of a trajectory downhill or that kind of a trajectory, right. but... It is a downhill trajectory. Those I've conditions been feeling are, some pain. Have yeah, I've been feeling some pain. Where's now. most of your discomfort been? Either in the very center on my spinal cord, mm -hmm. there, and like up in here. Mm -hmm. And you know, some of that's again the oh. position of the neck being out of the way it should be. Right. It puts more tension on those muscles. And some of it's just the pressure on the nerves themselves. Mm -hmm. And so. By fixing both of those, I mean, you know, I wish I could look at you now and say, hey, you're never going to have any more pain ever by right. this operation. I mean, you know, that's a little bit of an unrealistic expectation. But what is a realistic expectation is us getting that risk out of your life, getting right. that pressure off your spinal cord. It'll, it'll look good. And again, as we do the procedure where we are doing this neurologic monitoring the entire time and mm -hmm. let us know we're doing a good job taking okay. that pressure off the nerves. Patients, from a, just what they notice after surgery, everybody has a little bit of a sore throat from us working around in that area, moving mm -hmm. stuff around. A, time, a few times I've had patients have hoarseness, just from, again, from the retraction of the soft tissues. I've never seen that last more than a day or so. Right. Um, there will be a little too, a little drain that will come out from down, and so even though you lose maybe a thimble full of blood the whole operation, once your blood pressure comes up after surgery, after the anesthesia reverses, sometimes it can ooze a little bit, so we'll leave that draining overnight. Right, okay. And you'll take it out on Thursday morning before you go home. Okay. And you will be spending the night, of course. Mm -hmm. so, all righty, well, I feel good about it. I hope you do. Yeah, I do. Good. I sure do. You know, looking at you in this particular picture that was done back in November, it doesn't look so much the other way. It looks real straight there, but mm -hmm. again, the uh, the spaces being so narrow, especially here and a little bit here, there's a little, you got a little bit of arthritic change between the sixth and seventh for a while. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Somebody wants me to vote for Donald Trump or something stupid like that. But anyhow, the um, these spurs will be gone. The okay. space will be thicker. Right. And your neck will be more curved. Okay. And then there will be that little titanium plate that will sit around in front of it. Now, you're not going to feel it. You're not going to know it's there. Right. The only way you know it's there is you see the picture of it. And it will stay in there forever because it ain't going to bother you. No problem. All right, girlfriend. No problem. I look forward to seeing you then, okay? I'm ready. <laughs> All righty. Wait right here and let Sheila come give you the rest of that paperwork, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
speaker? This paper. This is where you're gonna go to get fit in that collar. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave that in there. Whenever you go there, you mm -hmm. don't have to have an appointment or anything. But give them this information. Okay. They, they'll need that. So you won't have to worry about anything. Okay. They'll, that's what they'll do to file your insurance, to get everything set up and give give it to you right then. Okay. Okay. And um, bring it with you to the hospital. Okay. Okay. And pick up a prescription. What Dr. Dr. Edwards don't want. It's for after you leave the hospital, you have to go run out and look for pain medicine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's going to go ahead and call that man. It's for you. So after you leave the hospital, you have that home ready for you. Okay. Okay. Please, I hope it's not that, um, Tylenol 3. No, hydrocodone. That, no, that, you don't give that for certain. That, that thing. You get stronger medicine it, for certain. don't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, sometimes they give two threes of Tramadol before surgery. Mm -hmm. But after surgery, they know you have to have something stronger. Okay. Because it, it really, really, you have a need to surgery. And um, they'll keep you on that for probably maybe two or three weeks of okay. stronger medication. And All right. Things. Okay. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Oh, you did great.